President Abdel Fattah Sisi held a meeting on Tuesday with the Prime Minister Mustafa Madbouli and the Minister of Interior, Housing and Local Development, as well as concerned officials over Cairo's Warraq Island development project. The President instructed that the Social Solidarity Ministry and experienced civil society organizations would consolidate state efforts for urban development in the island and help with the implementation of the development and ensure demands and needs of its inhabitants are met. The project includes establishing modern residential towers and the optimization of the island's infrastructure, specifically its roads, power, water and sanitation grids. President Abdel Fattah Sisi gave directives on Tuesday to exert the utmost effort in a bid to localize heavy machinery and equipment industry in cooperation with all the concerned parties from both public and private sectors. The president's remarks uh, came within the framework of localization strategy for the industry of production equipments according to international standards. This came during the president's meeting with the head of the engineering authority of the armed forces, Major General Hisham Suifi, head of the financial affairs authority of the armed forces, Major General Ahmed Al Chazli, as well as Major General Assam Al Sheikh, director of the vehicles department in the armed forces. The meeting also reviewed efforts to provide equipment and machinery for national development projects nationwide. During the meeting, President El Sisi was also briefed on efforts exerted to provide machines and vehicles of various uses to be used for the purposes of comprehensive development in the state. Foreign Minister Samah Shukri held talks with his Greek counterpart Nikos Tindaris in Cairo on Tuesday. The meeting tackled means of boosting bilateral ties in addition to a number of regional and international issues of mutual concern. It also witnessed the signing of a memorandum of understanding by the two sides, including aeronautics and maritime search and rescue, as well as seasonal employment for Egyptians in Greece. Following their talks, the two top diplomats hailed bilateral ties and expressed their keenness to expand cooperation in various domains, especially the economic investment and trade zones. Ministry. Minister Shukri asserted that Egypt and Greece seek to achieve security and stability in the Middle East. He said the memorandum of understanding signed between the two sides concerning seasonal workers' issues would help reach a joint economic progress. A foreign minister hailed the Egyptian-Greek relations, adding that the more cooperation would be held in the near future. For his part, the minister, Din Diaz, said an agreement was signed tackling defense and security relations, adding that he also discussed with Shukri the labor issues and signed an agreement to organize it. Din Diaz noted that they are exerting the utmost effort to hold cooperation between Africa and Europe through Egyptian Greek models. In appreciation of the distinguished role of the Ministry of Interior in securing activities of the Climate Summit COP27 in Sharm el-Sheikh, the United Nations honored a number of officers representing various sectors of the ministry. Certificates of appreciation were granted to 211 officers who participated in securing various halls of the conference. United Nations officials praised the ability and professionalism of the security personnel, especially female police. The officials also praised the quick response in handling reports of lost personal belongings and highly valued the efforts to secure Egypt's guests until their departure. <laughs> 